hello everyone welcome back to my channel please subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell so the last update about twist of fate rambo and prachi had a flashback of how palavi threw rambo and prachi out of the house after their wedding and abby and praga couldn't stop missing each other let's continue from there sushma and praga comes to the office sushma introduced praga as a daughter with another surname the business partner says i heard so much about you Ragya says, I am sure that you have had right, and tells that the real confidence comes when a person is self-made. The praises are, Ragya says, we are here to discuss about the properties which we have acquired. The properties image is shown on the projector screen. The partner asks someone to move this bungalow image, and says that this is our bungalow and is under renovation. Ragya asks, how did you get it? The partner says that it was on sale and we bought it. Ragya says she wants this bungalow. And she recalls marrying in the same house and getting kicked out by Abby. Pragya offers three properties in exchange of the bungalow. Sushma asks Pragya what is she doing. The partner thinks that Pragya might have given her studio too and asks her to give the three properties and the studio too. Pragya says you said right that it is not that worth and tells that she will buy only if you give the property on market price. Mr. Tapa's son agrees and gives the property papers to Pragya. He says, I have bought this house on half rate and says that you have done a bad business. Pragya says that she would have given him the entire business and tells that he has lost it. Mr. Tapa asks that what is it? Sushma says that it was a lesson for your son. Siddharth comes to Prachi's house. He tells Rambu and Prachi that he is jealous seeing their love. Prachi gets ready to go for the meeting. Siddharth gets a call that Palavi got that attack and asks Rambu if he is coming. Sushma appreciates Pragya for her business. Pragya says that she got Grash Paresh in that house and then she was kicked out. Tapa's son is impressed with Pragya. Tapa says that they didn't want to sell the house, but Pragya convinced them. He tells that he shall get the folder from her purse and plan to acquire a factory. Pragya comes there and asks them when she can get the bungalow keys. Mr. Tapa's son says that after the renovation, Pragya says okay. Mr. Tapa's son says that they shall find out about her connection with the bungalow. Abby, Sumit, Prashant and other friends are sitting to play carom board. Sumit's wife comes there and says that she is going with her mother. They tell Abby that his wife is going from there. Abby says that his wife is up to something. Sumit says that you don't talk to her, but knows her. Abby says that the police also knows the thieves, and he drinks. Pragya and Sushma comes home. Pragya says that the manager called and told her that the car will be ready. She asks Sushma to see the things. Sushma finds Priyanka's picture and says that she had forgotten this in Australia. Pragya says, how can I forget it? And says that she requested Mark to give it to Brandon and he brought it here. Sushma gets emotional and says, I will see them. She says, just as the car comes, we will go to the boutique. Sumit is repairing Pragya's car. Abby comes there and asks him to play final match. Sumit says that he has to work. He reminds Abby about repairing the car outside the hotel. He says that they called him to repair their car and the boss is impressed with his service and doubled his salary. He says you will not get Rani. Abby picks the call and says I love you Rani. Sumit asks what did you do? Pragya looks on. Abby tells Sumit that he didn't pick the call. Pragya asks Sumit not to waste time and bring the car to her home safely soon. Sumit tells Abby that she was calling him and asks him to value time. Abby says I will talk to her. Call her. Sumit says that he will get scolded by her. There was love in her code. Abby recalls Pragya's coding and says that she was like Pragya. Sumit repairs the car and sits in the car. He gets his wife's call and tells Abby that he has to go with his wife for his child fascination. Abby asks to deliver the car to the lady's house. Abby says, I am drunk and stinky. Sumit asks him to eat pan and deliver the car. Sushma looks at Priyanka's picture and gets sad. The servant comes there and says that the food is ready. Sushma asks about Pragya. The servant says that Pragya is upset due to some mechanic. Sushma says that the mechanic hasn't brought the car. Abby comes there and says he came to give the keys. The servant opens the door. Sushma asks Abby to give the car keys to her daughter. Abby looks at the food kept on the dining table and says that his grandma used to make food for him like this. He says grandma is no more. Just her memories are left. Sushma asks him to eat the food after giving the car keys to her daughters. Abby is about to step on the stairs and Sushma asks Abby to give the keys to Pragya's hand. Abby says Pragya. Sushma tells Abby that Pragya must be busy in work so Abby should give the keys in Pragya's hand. Abby says Pragya. 
Sushma says, yes, my daughter. Abby says, my pragya and runs upstairs. Rambu comes to the hospital and asks Dr. Manoj about his papa. Dr. Manoj says that he refused to get admitted in the hospital and went home. Beji calls Sidat and asks him to come home fast. She says Vikram said that if he has to die, then he will die in the house. Abby thinks that she can't be his Pragya and comes to her room. Pragya is in the bathroom and looks for her towel. Abby thinks that she is inside and I have to give the car key to her aunt. Pragya calls Shagun and asks to give towel. Abby yells her and says Pragya. He gets emotional and thinks that why is he thinking that she is Pragya? He thinks that if he was his Pragya, then she would have searched for him. He thinks that there must be another girl with this name, but my Pragya is just one. Pragya asks if he cannot hear what she asks him. She asks him to give her towel. Abby thinks that his Pragya doesn't talk like this. He gives the kiss in her hand and she forwards her hand and takes the towel. Pragya asks, who are you? Abby says, your mom asked me to hand over the kiss in your hand. He says, I forgot to give you the towel and gives the towel in her hand. A song plays in the background and their hand touches each other. Abby asks if something happened. Pragya says, I will complain to your boss and says you have no manners. Abby asks her to close the door and goes. And Abby says that he will tell her mother that she scolded him badly. Abby was about to go, but the servant stops him and asks him to have the food in the kitchen. Pragya gets ready and thinks that this mechanic is mannerless and late. Abby eats the food and says that it is like my grandma's food. He asks the servant if her madam's name is Rani. The servant says that she is Pragya. Pragya comes downstairs and asks Sushma about the mechanic. Sushma says that he went to the kitchen to have food. Abby says that her madam's voice is like his Rani's voice. He praises the food made by her and goes. Pragya comes to the kitchen and asks the servant that where is the mechanic. The servant says that he has gone and says that he was a nice man. Pragya says that the mechanic was mannerless and he came to my room. Sushma says I sent him there as we were upset. Pragya says he should have given the keys and gave the towel. Sushma says towel. Pragya says I will scold him if I meet him next time. She says they have to go to the boutique. They come to the boutique. Sushma asks if something is good here. Pragya says I ask them to keep some saris for us separately. Tanu comes there and thinks that she will steal the red lipstick which will suit her nicely. She thinks that nobody can catch her till now and she thinks that she has done a research and she is a professional thief now. Pragya sees Tanu and excuses herself. Someone appreciates Prachi for her good presentation and offers to drop her, but Prachi refused. She sits in the taxi and sees Ria sitting on the road and eating something like drugs. Ria sits in the lorry. Prachi asks the driver to stop the car, but she couldn't see Ria. She thinks that she thinks about Ma and Ria. That is why she imagined her. Prachi thinks that she might have seen someone else. Siddharth and Rambu comes to Vikram's house. Rambu stops. Siddharth asks him to come inside. Rambu remembered Vikram and Pallavi breaking their relationship with him. Rambu remembered telling them that he cannot stay in the house where his wife cannot get love and respect. Pallavi says that they were meeting for the last time and he shall not return even if they die. Prachi asks Pallavi not to say this. Pallavi asks her not to talk to her and pushes her away. Rambu says she is my wife and owes her. Pallavi says your wife will never get respect here. Vikram says even you will not get anything. Rambu lives with Prachi. The flashback ends. Rambu then tells Siddharth that he is thinking if he shall come inside or not. Siddharth asks what is important to you, bad memories or your memories with them. He asks him to come in and he himself goes to get his phone back. Rambu rings the doorbell. Tanu comes to the makeup section and takes the lipsticks. The sales girl comes there and says that she would help her. Tanu says you left lunch to attend to me. The sales girl says that all the sales girls doesn't go all together and they go one by one due to the shoplifting incident. Tanu says I don't know why people steals. She says she has this shade already and says that she has an international card which would not work here. Sushma asks Pragya what happened and says she seems to be disturbed. Pragya remember their business partner's conversation about stealing a folder from her purse. She says nothing. Tanu looks at Pragya's purse and thinks that she will steal it and she thinks that someone has forgotten it. Tanu comes there and takes Pragya's purse and walks out from there. Sushma asks the sales girl to pack all her saris. She tells Pragya that she has taken the clothes for Shagun also, who works in the house. Pragya says I will pay. Sushma says I will pay. 
Raja says it is the same. She looks for her purse and she finds it missing and she tells Sushma that it was stolen. Thank you everyone for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and please share it and please subscribe. Thank you.